Here's five reasons I use return tracks for audio routing in Ableton Live. Number one, I can route my stems once and I'm done. So when I'm programming an individual Ableton Live set, I can go into an individual stem and choose to send that to a return track. And when I drag that song into my Ableton Live set, that routing comes with it. Do it once and I never have to do it again. Number two, I can easily hide my return tracks. Now when you're on stage, particularly with a laptop, screen real estate is at a premium. So instead of having tracks that are in my Ableton Live set that I have to see at all times, I can quickly just do Command Option R, hide my return tracks and they're out of sight and out of mind. Number three, I can quickly render my return tracks. If I need to send some reference mixes to someone on the team and I wanna render the specific outputs and groupings I have, I can really quickly choose those return tracks, hit Command Shift R, choose Select a Tracks Only, and I've got those renders made. Number four, I can change my audio output routing without redoing any of my stem routing. So let's say I've got a run and gun set up for a festival. I only have two outputs. I can really quickly choose all of my return tracks and quickly route them to channel two while leaving my click and cues out of channel one. And I don't have to go into my songs to redo anything. Number five, probably most importantly, I can quickly balance the level of all my songs in my set. So I'm gonna press tab to head over to session view. You can see because I've grouped all my stems together and I'm getting all my outputs using my return track, I have a full volume fader that I can use to adjust the level of every single one of the stems in my song, which allows me to balance the levels of my song faster than anyone else. These are the five reasons that I use return tracks for audio routing in Ableton Live.